So the flagship smartphone Silicon's are so powerful and power efficient like you can literally play almost all high definition games can do rendering and multitasking with an ease. There's high end chipset from Qualcomm the powerful 8 Gen 1 then we have Apple C15 Bionic SoC MediaTek Dimensity 9000 and Google Zone Tensor chip made by Samsung the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the powerful new A15 Bionic The brains of our new Pixel lineup is Google Tensor. The world is ready for our flagship MediaTek Dimensity 9000. So in this video, let's find out which one out of them is the most powerful silicon in terms of speed and performance. So as we have the highest end flagships, the Samsung S22 Ultra, iPhone 13 Pro Max, Xiaomi Redmi K50 Pro and Pixel 6 Pro. So I'm going to divide this test in three rounds. The first one is game opening and loading speed, then rendering and exporting video plus MS Word document and finally the benchmark test. Yes, I'll be also showing you guys the initial and final temperature and all these devices are on max out performance. The battery saving mechanism is turned off for each single application and games. Was a soldier in the legions fought against the demons fought against the monsters made of gold but they stormed across Arcadia following the nature So four games Sangry Birds which you can say is a warm up and then we have Genshin Impact this game cost like 15 gigs in total got amazing characters with magical powers you guys can see Apple and Samsung are really quick in there Then we have PUBG and I play this game a lot. This is like a multiplayer game. You can play it with your friends or random players online. Then we have Gangster Vegas which is a game like GTA. You can do anything you want in there. Play boxing, buy a house, drive cars or hit anyone. So an awesome game. So Apple iPhone is the first one to complete this test in 1 minute 35 seconds and then we have the Samsung S22 Ultra with 8 Gen 1 then comes the Dimensity 9000 Pro Xiaomi Redmi K50 Pro and after 10 seconds there was the Pixel 6 Pro with Tensor CPU The second test is Adobe Rush video rendering the CPU and storage usage is high in this one So importing plant versus zombie file adding some effects and then rendering 74 MB 1080p video file on same settings. So you guys can see Apple is way fast in this one and then I guess it is Samsung with 8 Gen 1. The rendering is done in A15 Bionic is very powerful in these tasks and then there is 8 Gen 1. Dimensity 9000 was 2 seconds late but that is fine and the slowest was Pixel Tensor. In the MS Word however the result was shocking when opening a huge document. Yes Apple was the fastest and then was Samsung shockingly Pixel Tensor took the third place leaving MediaTek Dimensity on the last spot. That is a small gap but still. The third test is benchmark so Geekbench here we go. So after this continuous session the lowest score is on Tensor and then H Gen 1 MediaTek did manage to get 4000 plus multi core but Apple is way ahead in this race now the N22 benchmark test I'm alone here on my island floating in the sky I'm high above the world I used to know and I'm far from any danger safe from any failure got it up and shelter in the storm I'm hiding in the blue safe between the clouds in the blue I can't be found 
was a soldier in the legions fought against the demons fought against the monsters made of gold Shockingly, the Xiaomi Redmi K50 went insanely hot at 48-49 degrees, closing the benchmark at 46% progress and showing overheating sign all over. Samsung Pixel and Apple were 43-44 degrees, which is fine. And this was the final score of this continuous test, 8 Gen 1 overall 797,000, which is the highest right now. Yeah, I know this was a torture for these devices, so I let all these devices cool for hours and then I did the Antutu benchmark test once again. So yes, we saw the high end score 9 lakh on 8 Gen 1, 9 lakh 61,000 on Diamond City 9000 chipset, which is the highest, 8 lakh 13,000 on Apple A15, and 5 lakh 89 on Pixel Tensor SoC. Xiaomi, as always, was heating the most. So summing up all thing is, Apple A15 and 8 Gen 1 are way powerful and flagship hardware got better heat dissipation. The Dimensity 9000 is good but you all know this silicon will never find a flagship hardware like a body of Samsung S22 Ultra with amazing heat dissipation or iOS like optimization. And right there it will fail to give you an amazing experience. This all guys, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.